A U.S. Navy carrier strike group has arrived in South Korea ahead of the major annual Full Eagle series of joint military exercises with South Korea. The unexpected arrival of the U.S. Navy's third fleet in Busan comes right after the impeachment of the South Korean president and the deployment of a U.S. missile defense system in the country, a development that has stoked tension with China. The United States supercarrier USS Carl Vinson arrived today at the South Korean port city of Busan. The USS Wayne E. Meyer, an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer, followed close behind. It was rare to see two ships from the U.S. Navy's Third Fleet make a port call in the Asia Pacific region. I'm currently standing inside the hangar on the USS Carl Vinson. This three story high hangar houses the F 18 and other strike fighter jets. A South Korean Dokdo class amphibious assault ship was nearby preparing for joint exercises with the U.S. Navy. The impeachment of President Park Yun hye and the U.S.'s deployment of the THAAD missile defense system have ratcheted up tensions between China and South Korea. It remains to be seen whether the participation of U.S. troops in the exercises will mitigate or aggravate regional tensions. Just a couple comments on uh, THAAD. Uh, first, it is well established that THAAD is a defensive system and is agreed to by the governments of the United States and the Republic of Korea. The system has been deployed to the oh. Republic of Korea for one purpose. And that purpose is to defend the people of the Republic of Korea against ballistic missile attacks from North Korea. But the deployment of THAAD is independent of the uh, full eagle exercise series. With its own internal political system at a crossroads, South Korea is now preparing to stage its military's largest joint exercises with the United States. It's worth watching how the arrival of the U.S. carrier strike group in the country may affect conditions across the region.